All right, uh, this 11-7 has to deal with circles in the coordinate plane. We're going to learn about writing different kinds of writing equations and graphing circles. Um, so we're going to kind of start off by deriving how the formula, where it came from. So, of course, if I have a circle, I have a radius, I'm going to have a center. So I'm, we define this, we let HK be the center of the circle. And then we have this radius that's going to be the actual distance from the center to any point on the circle. We're just, and we called that point x, y. So we plug those two points into the distance formula. Right, we substitute h and k as my x1, y1. And then simplify. We take it square both sides and we get that r squared, which is the radius, is equal to x minus h squared plus y minus k squared. All right, so um, let's just jump in and work one of these problems. Okay, so write the equation of each circle. Circle J with the center of 2, 2. So this would be my H and this would be my K. And I know the radius is 4. So that tells us that 4 squared is equal to x minus 2 squared plus y minus 2 squared. Um, it doesn't matter if I write it this way with equals r squared or if I start with my radius, but just to kind of go back to where it was written on the formula, we would say x minus 2 squared plus y minus 2 quantity squared is equal to 16. All right, and this is kind of the simple, the, the accepted format for writing this equation, so that would be it. We would be done with example 1. All right, now with example two, um, they give us actual two coordinates. Um, passes through J at 6, 4, and has a center K at 1, negative 8. Since this is the center, this is going to be my H, and this is my K. This would be my X and Y. All right, we'd go ahead and call that our um, X2, Y2 values. And then we're just going to, to put that into the formula. Um, but first, we need to kind of figure out what that distance is so we know what the radius is. So we got to go into the formula, and we're going to go 6 minus 1 squared plus 4 minus a negative 8 squared. And all of that is in the square root so that we can find R, the radius. So simplifying this out, this is 5 squared, and that's 12 squared. So that becomes... 25 plus 160 or 144, which is the square root of 169, which is 13. So our radius is 13. Now we can put this into the formula. I want to use, remember, we're using our h and k, so that that we're going to use, uh, let's see, x minus 1 squared plus y minus a negative 8 squared is equal to our radius squared, which ends up being x minus 1 squared plus y plus 8 squared is equal to 169. Okay. That would be our equation. Now, if you're given the equation of a circle, you can graph the circle by making a table or by identifying its center and radius. Okay, so let's do that on this example 3. I notice here that I just have x squared plus y squared. What's missing? You don't have an h and k. Really, you do, but it's not showing. Um, so if the h and k don't appear up here, that, that just tells you that your h and k is going to be 0, 0. All right, so you're at the origin. All right, and then what's the square root of 16? It's going to be 4. So your radius is 4. So you're going to go from the center. You would go up 4. Then you can go down 4 to the right 4, and then left 4. All right, and then you would connect this and make a circle. All right, something like that. That would be your graph. I guess we can draw this in. All right. That would be it. That would be the graph with your center as 0, 0.
All right, let's look at another example just to give you another idea. This time I do have some numbers in here. Remember that the formula, though, is going to give you it's x minus h squared plus y minus k squared. All right. So since I do have a minus 3, I know my x value, my h, is 3. So let's see, this is my center. My h is 3. My 4 is going to be a negative 4. That's my k. Because I have a minus here, notice that you have a plus here. So negative times negative, that's where, that's where the positive would come from. So this has to be a negative 4. Right, so then I would go 1, 2, 3, 2, 3, 4. That would be my center. Now the radius, r squared is 9, so that tells me that r is going to be 3. So kind of like we did before, we'd count 3 to the up, we'd count 3 to the bottom, 3 to the left, and 3 to the right. We're going to have to kind of estimate this out. There should be 1 here, 1, 2, and then 3. So that would be my, my points. My circle would look something like that. 